Hello viewers and welcome to our second test drive Unlimited 2 video. Uh, obviously you saw in the first video I visited Namco Bandai, had a check out of the game, tried it out. So I've played a fair bit of it offline already and we'll be waiting our online games as well and I'll show you all of that online racing as well once we eventually get to that. It will also be interesting to see uh, how competitive the wheel is with the pad as well. That's something I couldn't tell you at the moment but I can tell you the driving style between a wheel and a pad is very different. The pad the car tends to jerk a little bit when it's turning with the wheel it's a very smooth turning circle but conversely when you slide the car with the pad it's very easy to control when you slide it with the wheel so far I found it very very difficult indeed and most of the time I've just completely lost control I can't seem to keep the, get, do enough opposite lock in the time it takes to actually um, uh, make any difference and save the car. One thing you do get when you're reviewing a game is information on that game and in Test Drive they've got an entire book you can see here and this tells me everything about the game and all the options that are going to be in it. I can tell you there's going to be absolutely stacks that I'm going to be checking out over the next few days and the online aspect of this game can't be underestimated in its size and importance. That's going to be what keeps you going and coming back for more and we'll be checking that in loads more detail but enough of my rambling check out some of the driving school. Okay so the first point of call when you start the game is going to be to get your driving license. So let's crack in now and uh, check this out obviously. Classic license. Let's crack on with these. Lovely, yeah good. Let's do this then. Now you've seen licenses for other games it's all relatively straightforward. Let's see how you're doing during this simple exercise. Drive your vehicle successfully through the bend and control your nice. braking to stop the vehicle inside so, the zone. These tests are all based on the sport driving model. I don't know if it's manual or not. how fast I can go through these. Faster than I expected. Okay, so that's one done. Congratulations. It really looks like you got it. successful test. During races, you will encounter different types of bends and slopes. This test is just a taste of what's to come. Bends and slopes. Uh, Carve a lot more power now, it's a lot more slidey. Always be aware of that. Oh, a little bit of delay in changing gear there as well, you know. It changes just a second after, actually. It's D for engine sound. I don't really know how quick I can obviously drive some of these. Congratulations! It really looks like you've got the hang of this. You've got the hang of this. <laughs> you have to adapt your driving depending on your vehicle, but also depending on the weather. Don't forget to adapt your braking on a wet track. To make a quick 180 degree turn or 
to negotiate tight hairpin turns, use the handbrake. Congratulations! It really looks like you've got the We're all certainly very excited. There is a lot of vibration <laughs> in this. Ooh, oh dear. Well, it doesn't like that, does it? You won't be alone on the road. Okay. You have we might need to turn the wheel off. <laughs> Actually, it's very excited. Is certainly vibrating here, as you can see. Oh, completely different handling on this car. Oh, got in my way. Let's try that again. It's, it's a little bit off putting, the wheel is going a bit crazy. vibration okay let's just get this challenge out of the way now no I don't want to crash into that dude Congratulations! It really looks like you've got the hang of this. And the wheel certainly was excited with that car, viewers. On to the next challenge. Show me how you're doing with this two lap training race. Finally, a training race. Okay, viewers, this is my second restart now. I was just trying to muck about and sort out the vibration on the wheel, uh, but to no avail at the moment. I will say the uh, sliding of the car is a lot more difficult with the wheel. Uh, I find that I'm driving this more like an F1 car really, nice and slow, keeping the grip. Uh, with the pad you drive a lot more aggressively, you get the back end out and slide it around the corners. With the wheel I'm not as confident to do that, I feel that when the, 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 wheel, the car starts to slide, it, it just seems really difficult to control the wheel and you know opposite lock just simply isn't enough. So hard to control under the slide. Very unpredictable. Uh, again, I just find that I say keeping it a smoother, smoother driving line in the uh, in the wheel is the way forward at the moment. Cut across there. Challenge done. 
Well done. Another successful test. And that is the completion of the first driving school.